tujuza tujiangalie kama kawaida Wednesday huwa tunaangazia kipindi cha siasa nikarudisha sana msikilizaji wa Radio Jambo kwa station yetu ya Radio Jambo mazungumzo waziwazi wazi. na leo tutaangazia siasa hasa ingawa tulikuwa tumepanga kuangazia siasa kwa sababu tulipata mkasa jana shambulizi za jana kule Riverside Dusit Hotel na ndio tunamleta mtaalamu wa masuala ya kiusalama Aiza Kandabwa na pia tumemleta gavana uh, mheshimiwa Kavogo um, wakuja watuelezee masuala tofauti tofauti eh, hasa masuala ambayo tuliona jana na pia watuelemishe sisi kama wa Kenya manake yalionekana jana tunashukuru kwanza eh, kuwa swala hili lilienda haraka iwezekanavyo na tunashukuru sana uh, wanajeshi wetu polisi wetu na wote ambao walihusika kuangazia masuala ya kuokoa maisha ya wa Kenya ambayo wengi waliokolewa. Tukituma rambi rambi zetu na tukiendelea kuombea familia ambazo ziliwapoteza wenzao uh, jana. Tuanze na gavana, protocol inasema tunaanza na Mohesh e, Mheshimiwa. E, gavana, pengine tukiangazia masuala ambayo yalifanyika jana wa Kenya. E, we utazungumzia wananchi kwa sababu masuala ambayo tuliona mkenya anafikiria kwa sababu ana simu na kuna shambulizi kama hili. Yeye anafikiria atakuwa hero akikimbia pale kuchukua picha, wengine wanataka kwenda kuangazia nini kimefanyika. Na wengi wao ni kwa sababu hawajapata fursa ya kujua bunduki ni nini na risasi ni nini eh, gavana. Kwanza kabisa nashukuru kupata nafasi hii. Mm. Uh, nisalimie wasikilizaji wote wa Radio Jambo. Asante. Pili niseme kwa Wakenya wale ambao walipoteza maisha yao kwa jamii zao nasema poleni sana. Mm ni mkasa ambao tumeupata kwa sababu sisi wenyewe katika Kenya mm -hmm. tunaamini uh, mambo ya ugaidi ni mambo mabaya mm -hmm. na tutapigana nayo vilivyo kwanza okay. tushukuru pia uh, jeshi mm -hmm. polisi mm -hmm. na wale wote walihusika Ndiyo. lakini ya, kus, ya kustajabisha Ndiyo. ni kuwa wa Kenya nao ni watu very curious Ndiyo. wanapenda kukipatikana kitu kama hii Ndiyo. wanakimbia pale na hujui kunaendelea nini mm. kutaka kuona Ndiyo. na hawajui wakifunga barabara kwa mfano vile mm. watu walivyofunga barabara Ndiyo. itakuwa ni ngumu ambulance kupita mm -hmm. itakuwa ni ngumu polisi kujipanga ama vikosi kujipanga mm -hmm. kwa hivyo ni muhimu wa Kenya wajue wakati kama huu ukifika mm -hmm. weka kando kama huhusiki uwe kwa mbali kabisa Ndiyo. tuseme mita mia tano mm -hmm. kwa karibu zaidi yes. ili vikosi ama shirika au uh, jeshi mm -hmm. wapate nafasi ya kuweza kujipanga mm -hmm. na kuweza kusaidia wale ambao wameadhirika mm -hmm. ama wale ambao wako ndani katika mkasa huu mm -hmm. pia ni muhimu kujua ukisikia kitu kama hiyo ni muhimu kukimbia yeah. lakini usikimbie ovyo ovyo yeah. ukimbie kuondokea sio kuja si karibu hapana kuondokea Ndiyo. ukifika mahali unaweza uone uwezi kukimbia Ndiyo. basi ni kujificha mm -hmm. kujificha mahali ambayo hupatikani mm -hmm. mahali ambayo huwezi kufikika kwa rais kama ni kwa chumba unafunga mlango unavuruta drawer unavuruta kila kitu yes. kufanya ngumu sana mtu mwingine kuweza kufungua mlango Ndiyo. na kama huwezi hivyo mm -hmm. basi ni vita mm -hmm. kama huwezi kimbia huwezi jificha ujue sasa ni kupigania maisha yako Jamin lakini vile tulivyoona jana mm -hmm. pia sana zingine unazungumza na kwa mtandao kwa twitter mm -hmm. kwa simu mm -hmm. unaeleza umeona watu fulani wewe kumbuka pia adui yeah. wameweka watu yao katika mitandao Aha. wanaangalia watu wanasema nini Ndiyo. ukisema huko katika gorofa ya tatu Aha. parking ya juu yeah. wewe tayari umeshaadhirisha maisha yeah. ya wale ambao wako katika lile gorofa Ndiyo. mimi nashukuru ulikuwa umenialika tuzungumza siasa Ndiyo. lakini katika mkasa huu yeah. sina budi ni kuzungumza mambo ambayo inaweza kutusaidia Yeah. na pia tushukuru serikali sharika, wakati huu Ndiyo. wamejaribu mm. wakati wa mkasa wa Westgate Ndiyo. ilikuwa ni taabu mingi Kweli. lakini kwa sasa wamejaribu mm. na bado tunasikia kuna milipuko kadhaa inaendelea huenda yes. ikawa ni zile zilibaki na hawa jamaa lakini ni kwambie mm hawa jamaa inasemekana wengine wa ni, ni wakaaji wa mitaa ambayo mahali sisi tunaishi mm -hmm. kwa mfano ruaka sijui kuna mwingine anapatikana ruaka wewe ukiwa mkenya mm. unaona mtu hamuelewani humjui mm. amekuja ni mtu wa aina fulani Ndiyo. kwa sababu ukiangalia hawa wote ambao wamepigwa marisasi mm. ni watu wa kiimu aina fulani Ndiyo. ukiona kitu kama hiyo mm -hmm. it cost you nothing kuchukua simu na kusema kwa polisi Ndiyo. kuna mtu hapa mm. tunamshuku yes akaguliwe mm. akiwa ni mtu mwenye usalama yeah. tuishi kwa usalama Ndiyo. kwa sababu kama wangeweza kwenda kwa vyumba mm. vya hawa jamaa mm. wangeweza kupata you know all this magrenade masilaha za aina yote na hapo tungeweza kusaidia walioadhirika wasije wakapoteza maisha yao 
lakini tunashukuru vilivyo polisi mm. wamejaribu wame safari hii eh, pengine aiza kandabu mtaalamu wa masuala ya usalama tuanze na ofisi watu ambao wako kwenye ofisi kwa sababu eh, wengi baada ya kuzungumzia lazima tutaangazia majengo kama yale yana security wana ofisa wale wa kawaida benki ziko pale kuna askari wako kwa zile benki wafanyikazi wameandikwa kazi kule kitu cha kwanza ni nini ukisikia milio ya risasi milipuko kama hii kwa sababu mabosi wengi hawajui wengi unasikia walikuwa wanatoka kwenda kuangalia wakirudi wanapata eh, wafanyikazi tumejifungia ndani sasa bosi hako nje sisi tuko ndani eh. naam i think uh, anasema shukrani kubwa kwa kupata nafasi pia kuongea mm. na wa Kenya Ndiyo. and in particular kusema pole zangu mm. personal na zile za institution yangu Kenya National Ndiyo. ya kwamba wale ambao wamepata manusura mm -hmm. wale ambao wamepoteza wapendwa mm. Uh, katika huyu mkasa nasema ya kwamba pole na tunasiti kuwaombea mm -hmm. ili Mungu awapatie nguvu ya kustahimili yes. uh, juu ya hayo sana na, na, na kubaliana na mwenzangu governor mm -hmm. uh, mheshimiwa bila amesema uh, you see terrorists are, are cowards Ndiyo. because they, they they attack you when you are not uh, notified by that attack mm -hmm. so uh, kama wa Kenya tutasimama imara mm -hmm na tunaambia hawa kwamba tutawashinda popo vyote vile mm -hmm. hayo mambo ya kufanyia experiment katika nje ya Kenya mm -hmm. mambo ya terrorism mm -hmm. tutakataa mm -hmm. na sisi zote tutaungana pamoja mm -hmm. ili tuseme mambo ya alshabab al katika nje ya Kenya hatuitaki okay. na jambo la pili kulingana na ile masuala ambayo umeniambia mm -hmm. kulingana na incident ambayo imeonekana jana pale kwa du city hotel mm -hmm. inamaanisha kwamba it's a call up uh, call uh, uh, a uh, uh, wake up call to yeah. every kenyan and even the government yeah as mheshimiwa anaongea mm -hmm. when there is a serious incident uh, in a particular place yeah. there is a target target the area mm -hmm. now inakuwa ni vigumu sana tena mm -hmm. wewe tena kama binadamu ama mwananchi ndio yeah. badala ya kuchukua cover we, know, we normally say in security taking cover ndio yeah. badala ya kuchukua cover mm -hmm. wewe pia una expose yourself katika kwa hiyo hatari mm -hmm. sasa ujisaidiwe mwenyewe ndio hausaidia hata wale ambao wangekuja kuokoa manusura Ndiyo. lakini unafanya hiyo hali kuwa mgumu sana Ndiyo. kwa hivyo tungependa tuseme ya kwamba uh, kwa kufurana hila ambao tumeona jana hila ambao umeuliza tungelipenda pia serikali mm -hmm. na sisi kama biongozi tu invest heavily mm -hmm. kwa mamba ya information yes. na awareness tuambie wa Kenya wanainji ya kwamba kama kuna instant kama hiyo hapana enda tena kufanya hiyo mamba ya investigation ama kufanya mamba ya kuokoa ikuwe complicated Ndiyo. jaribu ku open uchukue cover ama utoroke mm. utoroke kutoka pali ilo insta imefani imefanyikia hapana mm. kukimbia ukienda pale unaweka jam sasa hata bagari uwezi kupita hata mtu kama angeokolewa uwezi kani usabu imefani ume, umekua pia pia security risk Ndiyo. so tukempena tuambia wa kenya kwamba hata nilufrai jana gile mwishimua amesema tuikombe mamba ya westi kini nasa hii ila mba imefanyika mm. at least operation ya westi ya dusit imekuwa around 60% success Ndiyo. in terms of uh, reaction mm -hmm. uh, may, may be responding to the, the alarm Ndiyo. like if you compare like Karisa it took uh, several hours Ndiyo. for the security agents to do what kufikia pale mali instant ilikuwa okay. so I think wa Kenya wameanza kuelewa sasa mambo ya, 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 ya ukaidi yiko Kenya haikimbi ya hiyendi mahali Ndiyo. sasa lasema tuanza kuchipanga vizuri tupate zoefu na tupate ilimu ya kutosha ili kama jambo kama hili limetokea mm -hmm. ni nini mwananchi anataka nafanya ni ashughulike nayo alafu jambo lingine ambalo pia nataka niseme hatutaki pia serikali kuwa ina invest kwa organizations ina spend money na hali hiyo hizo 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 forums mm -hmm. atasaidia wananchi hata kidogo yeah. na hizo pesa ambazo zinatumika mm -hmm. ni pesa ya mwananchi ya tax okay. kwa mfano mm -hmm. nataka nijue because watu wa kama terrorist bwana mheshimiwa Awezi tu kuamuka leo asubuhi na waende watak juice hotel Ndiyo. lazima kuna process lazima kuna wamekuwa wamefanya planning mm -hmm. wamefanya surveillance kutosha wamechukua information kuhusu hiyo target Ndiyo. na hiyo process yote ikifanyika surely mm -hmm. where is the security Ndiyo. ya inchi mm -hmm. na haswa tusikuwe watu kwenda kukimbilia mali kwenda kusaidia mali ile zimetokea tukue pro active tu, tuchipange kuzuia uh, shida kuliko kwenda kufanya nini kusaidia kutatua shida, shida. swali ambalo nitaka Na, kwanza ni, uangazie sana ndabwa yeah. ni hili swala yeah. e, mmekuwa mkitaka askari wa kawaida yeah. e, wale wanachunga buildings na polisi na nani 
wawe wana pengine mna radio moja ya kukommunicate kwa sababu maswala ya yeah. usalama na nafikiria hapo ndipo sijui mmefikia wapi na nitakuwa namuuliza governor pia ni swala ambalo linataka kuangaziwa kwa sababu ndio viongozi wetu kwa sababu kungekuwa na askari wale wa kawaida askari ambao wanachunga buildings na wale polisi wako kwenye mabenki wanaweza communicate kwa the same area nafikiria hata tungepoteza mtu mmoja kwa sababu risasi ya kwanza ingelia ule angesema wale polisi wako kwa benki e, mnaweza toka tunaona jamaa hapa mambo yangeenda haraka iwezekana nakubaliana na wewe mm. lakini kabla nitatui la, swala ambalo naniuliza mm. nataka nirudi nyuma kidogo yeah. unajua e, mambo ya kupigana mambo ya, ya, ya usalama wa nchi is a co- combination effort Ndiyo. hata mkenya mwenyewe lazima pia abadilishe akuwe alert akuwe concerned Ndiyo. about the environment ambayo mwenye yako ndani mm-hmm nikileta eh, uh, wazo langu karibu na wewe mm. kuna hii community uh, policing yes. <coughs> ama tuseme nyumba kumi kumi yes. kama nyumba kumi kumi ingekuwa inafanya kazi vilivyo mm-hmm. katika nchi ya Kenya mm-hmm. lazima pale pale mahali mkasa imetokea lazima nyumba kumi walikuwa wana, wanajua mapema mm-hmm. so inamaanisha kwamba kuna forum zingine ambazo zifanyi kazi okay. because n- nenesa kuliza kwamba hapo tusi hotel mm-hmm. yuko nyumba kumi namba gapi kwa sasa. Mm-hmm. Lakini kama tunge enhance kwa nyumba kumi idea ile mheshimiwa rais alisema is a very big idea. Yeah. Lakini inafanya kazi that is the issue. Yeah. Na ukucha kwako. Kuna 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 mheshimiwa rais aliweka uh, kidole mambo ya authority regulation. Yes. Na leo leo hivi tumekuwa kwa mkutano na the newly appointed CEO uh, mheshimiwa Fazul. The AG ameweka clean bill mambo ya rules the government mambo ya army mm-hmm. kwa sababu vile wamesema kweli ungeona uliona vile wao jamaa walitembea ina clip yes. wanatembea kama walevi wamekunywa wa, wa buzaa mahali mm-hmm. you see wanatembea tu ovyo ovyo mm-hmm. now kama askari yule uh, pale kwa baria mm-hmm. kama tumekuwa na private card yule ambaye wako consult na, na, na gani si hata akuwe na uniform mm-hmm. lakini akuwe somewhere somewhere there just watching over there the entrance Ndiyo. surely hawa watatu awange pita pale mm-hmm. yeah because hawa walikuja then wa askari wakawa scared everybody akawa scared hata polisi alikuwa scared mwanamke alikuwa pale na akafanya ni akakimbia so what we are saying lazima private cars wakuwe armed na tunataka tusikuwe tunaongea mambo ya uh, story kila siku sababu hii mambo sasa iko hapa Kenya Ndiyo. tuliongea mambo ya um, arming 1998 tulikuwa na bomb blast pale American embassy tumekuwa pia na hii West Kadama tumeongelea hapa juzi na pia hii ni ni sendi nyingine mm-hmm. na zingine pengine zimekuja mingi yeah. angalau tuseme ya kwamba zije mm-hmm. lakini tunataka ya kwamba private security wakuwe na bunduki na watu waseme ya kwamba the private security was what bunduki wakipewa hiyo hapana mm-hmm. hiyo notion ni mbaya kama nchi kama Uganda Uganda tumekuwa si si bunduki iko kila mtu Ethiopia Ethiopia si bunduki iko yes. sasa angalia types of attacks yes. ila ambayo inafanyika katika nchi ya Kenya mm-hmm. Uh, Uganda haiko often kama Kenya hata Ethiopia mm-hmm. sisi imekuwa ni mjezo experiment yes. ya alshabab mm-hmm. breeding ground mm-hmm. so ila mambo tunasema najua kwamba Fazul tumekuwa na yeye na kikao na yeye ako up to the task ya kumamba ya regulation okay. I'll move with the speed mambo ya story hisha akisha kwamba ameweka rules na amesema ya kwamba AG ameshamaliza leo atuoli pia amemesema hata msupport kwa sababu uwezi kupatia mtu bunduki mwenye kuna njaa lazima tuangalie mambo ya minimum wage ile ile mishara ya wafanyikazi wala ambao wanataka wajukue nini bunduki okay. tukifanya hivyo tutakuwa tuko kubarabara ya usalama nje ya Kenya okay tukirudi gavana e, tutakuwa tukizungumzia uh, ili e, swala e, la kushukuru very important yes. very very important Ndiyo. unaweza kuwa na uh, um, private guard ako na bunduki mm. lakini ukiona vile hawa watu wako sophisticated yes. one gun may not be enough yes kama kungekuwa na uwezekano kuwe na radio communication line ya polisi yes so that hata how mm-hmm. in times of danger yes. anaweza switch radio yake na ikashikana na line ya polisi yes. ili ambayo ni for information purposes Ndiyo. because rescue kama inaweza fika in an incident Ndiyo. within under 10 minutes Ndiyo. you will save very many lives, many lives yes. utaona pale ilifika kuanzia saa ilianza sijui saa tisa kasorobo mm-hmm. na wa, wa kwanza walifika 25 30 minutes that is a very long, long time, time. Yes. my friend kwa mambo ya milipuko yes you can finish a whole building in 30 minutes yes kwa hivyo ni muhimu pia mm-hmm. kama serikali inaweza fikiria okay. ni njia gani unaweza piga zamani unakumbuka siku za zamani mm-hmm. wakati wa ile dial ile yes. dial phone 
ulikuwa ukidal 999 mara moja inafika mara moja na inaingia mm-hmm. they should come back now that we are digital yes. you should be able to be to give information mm-hmm. kwa polisi okay. in the easiest way possible wale wananchi wote mm-hmm. ambao walikuwa pale na masimu Ndiyo. kama ingekuwa 99 inaweza ingia wangesema wameingia wangapi wako namna gani wamejivaa wamevaa namna gani Ndiyo you know prevention is better than uh, um, confrontation pia governor nataka kuuliza uh, respond kwa sababu tunaona nchi nyingi kwa sababu najua governor umetembea kuna nchi ambazo swala kama hili likifanyika first respond ni kwenda kuzuia wa Kenya wasifike pale na kuokoa maisha second respond unaona ni unit ambaye inakuja ku na, na terrorist Kenya unaona tu kila mtu anakimbilia hapo everybody with Apple a gun report, niliona hata raia hata producer wangu angekuwa na bunduki angekuwa <laughs> hapo ameshika bunduki yake kwanza tujue everybody which kwanza, is wrong tu, kwanza tujue yeah. wewe mwenyewe hujulikani yeah. kuwa wewe ni fulani ni kaboko ama ni kimani Ndiyo. na umetoa bunduki yeah. utapatikana na security agents umeminiwe marisasi uliona mzee mmoja jana amevaa amevaa black yes. alilazwa chini for a very long time ni wakili kwa sababu hakujulikana ni nani Ndiyo. so ukifanyika kitu kama hii mm. get away from the scene yes. first save your life, life as you help others to save other people's lives si ndio namna hiyo kwa hivyo uh, hii mambo ya private uh, gun owners Ndiyo. inasaidia uliona wahindi wengi pale hata westgate uliwaona but sio wote wanaweza kuwa hodari yes. if you have 40 50 people with guns mm. na hamja kuwa trained coordination yes. mtaanza kupigana marisasi Kweli. ama mnaanza kuzuia wananchi to flow to the side of security yes wanaanza kuflow kwa upande wa kwenda kwa magaidi yeah. so it is important that these things get coordinated Ndiyo. na niliona zingine za kushangao uh, mtu jamaa sijui ni nani amepiga maboots za uh, army raia anakuja na <laughs> I thought raia wanapewa <laughs> kuna life... shotgun amesimama pale na hasa na hasa ID <laughs> zingine zio, zingine zilikuwa pistol yes. lakini siku hizi kuna zile, zile accessories yes. unaweza weka pistol yako ndani <laughs> ikakam kama shotgun Aya. yes that Sasa, is one that is one, ya ya mabu, that is one of them yes. lakini ni muhimu kupatia nafasi you know trained mm-hmm. officers mm-hmm. GSU mm-hmm. reki mm-hmm. army mm-hmm. waweze kufika pale mahali Ndiyo. kama in the event hakuna na wewe uko pale Ndiyo. bila shaka you can, if you know you can manage yes. uh, kutoa pistol na kupiga inawastua wale pia okay. wanawacha ku advance mm-hmm. but you must do it in a manner that you look like you know what you are doing sheria inaweza pitishwa pengine mheshimiwa tuchukuliwa tu wa wananchi ambao wanaenda pale bila sababu kwa sababu polisi wanaenda kuokoa watu ambao wako kwa building nafikiri, ama wanaenda kusimama nje kuambia nafikiri, wananchi tafadhali tokeni tafadhali ile tunahitaji sana sio sheria yeah. ni ile tu education yeah. civic awareness, education. Yes. awareness, awareness. that awareness. you are endangering yourself Sefo. at the same time unahatarisha maisha mm. ya wale ambao wako katika dusit ndani kama hiyo kitu ingeeleweka na pia ujue ni hatia mm-hmm. kuzuia polisi kufanya kazi yake really? kwa sababu kama wewe umekuwa pale na gari yako umefunga barabara unataka ku... unajua let me tell you ukiona mahali kuna accident mm. Kenya yes. utapata kuna jam watu wanaeka na hakuna gari ime fanya accident imefunga barabara yes. gari imevurutwa iko kando mm. lakini utaona kila mmoja apitae pale anataka kuangalia ni nini imefanyika yeah. you know curiosity yes. why don't you just piga gari yako mbele uende utasikia story baadaye but everybody wants to see hata wale wako ndani ya gari wanaambia driver hebu punguza mwendo kidogo tu tuone inakuwa you are causing traffic jam okay hiyo ni muhimu tu watu you know uh, we, we get we get civil yes tuanze ku behave kama vile watu wako you know ulaya uweze ona vitu kama hivyo mm-hmm. ulaya ukifika kitu kama hiyo <laughs> unasikia polisi mara moja wameka yellow tip yellow tip yes. in the whole na place na utaona uwezi ona mtu akivuka kwa sababu akivuta akivuka ili Mzia. ni hatia uh-huh. ukivuka yellow tip yes. na wewe uhusiani na hii maneno it ni hatia kweli tayari sasa hiyo okay Tunaendelea kuangazia uh, shambulizi la jana nikiwa na governor Kabogo na pia nina mtaalamu wa masuala ya kiusalama Isaac Andabwa na tutakupatia fursa ya kuangazia kwa sababu haya ni masuala yatafanyika wakati kwa wakati tumejifundisha na Westgate na jana respond ilikuwa ya haraka na watu wengi wameokoa maisha yao tukiendelea kuwapa pole wala wamepoteza maisha yao wanaume wanaopachika mimba na kukimbia inashuka mm. saa moja dakika tisa nikiwa naye gavana uh, Kabogo uh, na pia ninaye mtaalamu wa masuala ya kiusalama Isaac Andabwa e, pengine sisi wa Kenya tutafungua jicho kwa sababu kuna masuala ambayo tutaambiwa sasa hii ni fitina
nikiona mtu ana gari na simuelewi amekuja eneo letu e, kwa sababu nchi za nje au au upiga ripoti polisi atakuja angazie na aseme wao jamaa kwa sawa na watu wanaishi mtu anatoka nje ya nje anakuja anaishi kwa estate yenu ni mgeni amumjui na hata amuulizi pengine aiza kandabo tunaanzia wapi ripoti zikija kwa usalama zinachukuliwa vipi na wakenya tutaamini pia e, wanaoangazia masuala ya usalama um, mwanao hapo kuna shida kidogo mm kwa sababu Kenya ni kama a free free country. Yes. Ukiangalia bila watu wanaingia kwa nchi ya Kenya ukikombea na nchi nyingine. Ni za free country. <laughs> mtu anatembea tembea tu hata wa Chinese anapata kwa Kangwara na uza sukuma, sikio yeah. na shida huyu ni Chinese anauza sukuma kwa Kangwara. Haya unapata mwingine amekuja, yeah. amepewa permit ya kufungua security company. Yeah. Unapata amefungua security company in the Republic of Kenya. Yeah, so there are things which are not going on in order yes. within the law mm. now we must blame ourselves mm. and certain kind of Chinese anauza mahindi Kenya kaka ngwana yes unashangaa umetokea wapi yes. nani amempatia ni kibali ya kufanya yes. kufanya biashara ya security in the Republic of Kenya yes. so lazima pia to to revisit our organs okay uh, in terms of security mm. those people are entering the Republic of Kenya Ndiyo. and those ones who are what exiting wewe ingia nje ya ngambo tu of your vivi yeah. kabla utoke hapo uende kule UK tayari umekuwa screened properly mm. wameangalia hiyo passport vizuri mm. wamejoi mtu anakuja kwa anakuja kwa sababu abcd mm. lakini Kenya imekuwa ni mchezo tu watu wanaingia wanatokea siki pande hii mm. wengine wanatokea pande hii na pe, pia corruption pia mm. kwa hiyo system pia yes. ina pia ina inaeleza mm. maswali challenges kama hizo yes. nataka pia ni insist kwa ile jambo kama nilikuwa nimeongelea yes we are not talking about just uh, arming the guns Indeed. only yeah. as per se yeah. yani wapatiwe guns mm. you see the 80%, 80 percent of the security of this country mm. lies in the hands of who the private guns ukikombea nyumba yangu ndio ndio yes ukikombea namba ya cards na against the police Indeed. yetu iko juu mm. ni almost 500000 so it is high time the government mm. invest in this in this in this card force yes. in terms of knowledge yeah. and information what sharing wako wakitrainiwa pia watrainiwa vizuri yeah. bila mheshimiwa rais amefanya vizuri ame polish mambo ya kiganjo mm. amaweka canvas mm. we need again to hear mm. private security canvas haja yeah because wana compliment yes wana compliment yeah. government security agents yeah. national yeah. so how can how can you how can they compliment effectively and sufficiently mm. without actually undergoing a proper training, training yes. like what mheshimiwa is saying yes. unapata watu wote wamekimbia kwa instant na bunduki sikii na gani na gani kila mtu ambeba we have a specialized unit yes. that deals with mambo ya nini ya terrorism yes. so how wapatiwa nafasi waende pale mahali na wengine wa keep off the the scene mm -hmm. so as to make that exercise succeed mm -hmm. but not every every officer every person rushing to the scene Quite. of instant mm -hmm. that is a confusion yes yeah lakini pia mheshimiwa regulations Ndiyo. is important mm -hmm. kwa sababu sisemi labda ile ambayo ndugu yangu hapa amesimamia mm -hmm. lakini utaona there are very many guard companies yes na wengine hata hawana permanent employees yes. wale watu wako nao ni casuals yes. anaingia kibra anachukua mtu anampa uniform mm -hmm. na rungu mm -hmm. anamwambia simamia mahali fulani sasa mm -hmm. huyo sio wa kupaa bunduki ati eh, mpaka uh, regulations ziwe Zifanyo. ni wale permanent mm -hmm. pensionable watu ambaye wamescreeniwa mm -hmm. because na pia mm -hmm. regulations such that hata bunduki ni za strong room Ndiyo. of a particular company yes. wakati wa kupeana zinaenda certain places Ndiyo. they're designated there mm. alafu jioni wakitoka kazini ama wakifanya shift wanafanya shift pia mm. ya bunduki so that at every one time yes. bunduki na juka na ikona nani. nani because it will be very very risky yes. kupata mabunduki kila mahali yeah. eh, kayole kibira wapi ati umetoka kazini jioni 5 o'clock unaenda na bunduki nyumbani okay. they will be used for hire pengine pengine kuja pengine governor nitakuja kwa yeah. governor hivi swala la, la uh, viongozi mm -hmm. uh, hawaangazii sana bunduki hizi ukiangazia utasikia ripoti najua zikija utasikia zilikuja na basi fulani zilipitia kwa road block fulani siku moja ilipitia fika siku yes. moja ikafishikwa basi basi kasijui imetoka yes. garisa na imepita inakuja kushikiwa we must be very careful ourselves yes na it is the duty of every kenyan Ndiyo. to make kenya a safer place mm -hmm. than they, it was yesterday yes kenya will be good if it is safe for all of us mm -hmm kama leo umesikia hawa jamaa walipiga lunch jana walikula limuru limuru road yes. mm. sasa watu wanakaa ni wasomali mm. wanakaa sina si shida na jamii ya kisomali Ndiyo. but you see them na wamebeba uh, mizigo zao zile Ndiyo. na hamuja wahi waona Ndiyo. na wanapiga chapati na karanga yeah. pale limuru road you should be able to just speak your phone bwana yes. and say hello osies yeah. hapa 
kuna majamaa labda huwa ni uenda wakawa ni jamaa wazuri. wafiti wazuri yeah. lakini, lakini kukagua kukagua ni si kawaida kula hapa yes. na vile wanavyo ni kama wana mipango ya kusafiri mahali Ndiyo. you know just that yes. information mm -hmm. you may save an incident mm -hmm. kama hiyo okay. kabla hujachukua uh, andabu ukiangazia swala la usalama sana hapa Kenya uh, hata wale wanatakana waangazia masuala ya usalama coordination bado haipo kwa sababu mtu atauliza wale jamaa walikuwa wanne wale tuliona kwa video pale kuna benki mbili kila benki na polisi wawili watatu kuna hoteli hapo at least kulikuwa na polisi kama sita hata kabla wengine respond unit haijafika mm. shida hapo kubwa sana mimi naona kama vile wamesema coordination iko na problem mm. uh, just from the entry point yes. eh mahali wanatokea wakiingia wapi mm -hmm. ndani mm -hmm. na kule ndani kwenye mahali wameingia mm -hmm. na mimi nimesema kwamba shida ni information sharing between the private security officers wala ambao kwa entrance pale Ndiyo. na pia wala ambao kwa nani mm -hmm. because everybody lazima kwe security conscious yes. hata, hata citizens is lazima tukwe security conscious Ndiyo. you don't just look at somebody your neighbor mm -hmm. and assume yes. assuming is also dangerous mm -hmm. lazima uangulize mtu wena toka abdi wenda wapi mm -hmm. weni jani naishi kwa nani nungu na unafai ni mahali huko yeah. tukianza kuwa active hivyo itakuwa mm -hmm. jambo la maana sana Ndiyo. but still mambo ya coordination kuna problem. Yes. Ndio nimesema ya kwamba kuna hii e, e, kuna hawa bawabu ambao ni wengi sana. Ndiyo. Na unajua information inaweza kutoka kwa hao yeah. mingi sana. Ila ambayo inaweza kutumia na nani? Na polisi. Ndiyo. So bila mheshimiwa amesema na, nataka nimwambie kwamba kuna authority ambayo iko sasa ndaka regulate private security sector. Okay. It is just about to kick off because tumekuwa na fazul and it's up to the task. Yes. But still will will require coordination. Yeah. At what extent how are private cards wana peba information na wanapea nani okay. na mwenye wanapea information na anafanyia nini Ndiyo. alafu watu bile, bile tume, tume, tumesema hapa watu wasifanyia experiment na mamba ya security ya inchi yeah. afu tatu tufanya mamba ingine corruption lakini si mamba ya security mm. because utatarisha maisha ya kenya na wa kenya wote kwa jumla okay. kwa hivyo lazima pia sisi tustyle up tujua kwamba mamba ya ugaidi sasa bwana malolo si story yes. ila mba tulikuwa tunasoma kwa, kwa primary school mm -mm. sasa it is real it's with us it's happening. we must now begin thinking at that level Okay. Not just the way, the way you have been thinking uh, mambo ya kwamba decoding, kufungua gate na kuingiza huyu hapa. Mm -hmm. Mtu akiingia kwa hoteli lazima tujue kwamba ametoka wapi na anataka nini na tu scrutinize hata passport ama ID yeah. because identification. Kwa hakuna ubaya kufanya. Hakuna ubaya kufanya hivyo. Okay. Yeah. Ga Governor, na, tamaa ya pesa. Mimi nitatoka wherever I'm coming from Czechoslovakia nikuje niseme nataka nyumba South Sea niambie 50,000 niseme I'll pay one year. Landlords pia wanatuingiza shitabani. Kabisa kama sababu, sasa huyo ambaye amekuja Ruaka yes. amechukua mm. nyumba nyumba Ruaka you know we must also bring regulations yes know your customer mm -hmm. unajua vile unaenda benki siku hizi because of money laundry ndio wana kitu wanaita KYA yeah. uh, know your customers ndio uh, kama kunaweza kuwa na regulations kuwa wewe ambayo unakodisha nyumba mm -hmm. you must know who unakodisha nyumba nani Ndiyo. alitoka wapi yeah. ana vidole ama hana kumaanisha clean um, yes mnahitaji ile certificate of good conduct yeah. imepatikana ni mzaliwa wa wapi Ndiyo. lakini tukisema tu wanaingia airport hao watu walikuja kitambo wengine Ndiyo wengine ni convertees wamerekrutiwa hapa Ndiyo. you know mm. extremists ambao wamerekrutiwa hapa banana mm. kwa hivyo ni ngumu sana kujua ni mipaka gani wanapitia yes. lakini tukiwa alert yes. you know that we are at risk now mm. terrorism is real yes. it is no longer a dream mm. ujue tukue alert yeah. you cannot have five people to miss to miss mimi ni miss huyu wa miss na wewe u miss kujua yes. one of us you know, unajua pia six sense ya binadamu inafanya kazi Kweli? hatari utai smell yeah. umesema mm. kitu mambo ya polisi kuna benki mbili pale Ndiyo. we also need to tell the police yes. live up to today's standards yeah. kama wewe ni policeman unajua kwa kweli eh? awezi toka ndani ya benki yeah. akasaidia huko Inje. because kukifanyika lolote ataulizwa wewe ulitumwa na nani uh -huh. so we must tell the ig yes. in cases of situations like this yes. every officer within a radius of so much Ndiyo. they must leave whatever it is they are doing yes. and run to rescue kenyans aha au sio namna hiyo kwa sababu ukiona pale kwa benki mm -hmm. wamesimama pale na kuna G3 yes. na benki katika entrance yeah. you can see directly from the bank to the entrance yes. kwa baria mm -hmm. kama yule angefungulia ile G3 wale wangepinduka wange wange waanze pale na ingejulikana wazi lakini this time wameingia ndani yeah. wakapiga kule mpaka pale sasa dusit ndani ndio pale walienda kupatikana Jamia. pia yes construction mm -hmm. wakati city hall ina approve 
such a complex mm -hmm. my friend even complex entrance na exit yes. ni moja uh -huh. there is not another one ile ingine iko pale ndani mm -hmm. ni ile ya kuvuka daraja ya miguu yeah. kuvuka from dusit kuvuka ngambo ile kwa zile complex za those luxurious yes. apartments yes. sasa hapo mka, shida ikitokezea you have no exit ni ile ile moja mm -hmm. You, there is no hata ku coordinate watu kutoka kwa ile building yes. na wale ambao wanakimbia ndani tuseme to rescue others mm. uliona jana it was complete confusion yes. chaos kabisa so we should not have public places mm -hmm. with only one exit Aha. unaona hata kwa gorofa zingine ama majumba nyingi squeeze, squeeze the new court in the, in the developed world yes. unapata katika corner instead of ile ngazi spiral yes. ya kuvuka ya kushuka chini kuna kitu kama lift okay. lakini ni tube mm. all you need to do is to jump in Inside. inakupeleka all the way mpaka chini Ndiyo. you know ukipiga kelele zako ni kama zile unaziita scare machines zile zile water sports yes. lakini hapa hakuna hata moja mm -hmm. what time utapiga spiral ngazi kutoka 7th floor ah, ufike chini we should have this emergency Ndiyo. exits ambazo ni lifts ziko na kama mattress pampa ndani okay. you are sucked out you will not get hurt but it is rough okay una, 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 una. So, a combination of these things mm -hmm. city hall what are you approving yes. for lazy what is happening mm -hmm. every bank has two officers yes so if there are three banks there there were six, six officers six there officers. so they had exceeded the, the, the terrorists yes Lakini hawange toka ndani yes. walisikia mlipuko wakafunga mlango ya benki amen na ile buduki yako nayo ni buduki ya umma Yeah. Yeah. Na hiyo na hiyo ingesaidia sana. Na nikulipua tu. Yes. You know, wangepiga mbili. The only danger pia. Kama these are real terrorists Ndiyo. sio wale wa, wa kusilimishwa hapa. Ndiyo. He left home to die. Yes. <laughs> Ako tayari kufa. He left ametoka nyumbani kwenda kufa. Yes. Ameaga, amefanya kila kitu. Ndiyo. Amesema sasa mimi 72 virgins nitakutana na wao. So that is a dangerous man. Yes, okay. And if you see a man who is headed to his death, he does not care. You should be able to raise the alarm. Yeah. If we can just become conscious kama mm -hmm. Kenyans, mm -hmm. raise alarm. Yeah. Let it be force. Uulize wewe mbona ulisema hivyo? Utasema nilifikiria. 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 Yes. Yes. Yul, hakuna hatia. Hakuna mtu atakufunga. Hakuna. Mm -hmm. Utanyanyaswa kidogo kwa makofi mbili tatu lakini you've saved the nation. Kweli? Yes. Aisa kandabu kabla tujachukua simu niulize hili swala. Mm -hmm. Eh sijui kama kuna mipangilio kwa sababu inchi zingine kuna alam ya terrorist, kuna alam ya waizi kuna alam ya kama tunavamiwa na inchi za nje. Hapa Kenya hakuna. Alam ile Italia tutajua ni ya nini? Hii building alam ikiwekwa saa hii dakika mbili nikifinya alam utaona askari wanaingia dakika moja. Lakini hoteli hakuna. Hautajua hii alam ni ya wezi, ni ya moto, ni ya ziko together. Should we differentiate? Nafikiria ni lazima ndio uh, nimesema kwamba kuna shida pia kwa mambo ya awareness. Eh? Yeah because as you say alamu ya moto si pia alamu ya mgonjwa hey, kwa barabara hey. pia si alamu ya terrorism mm -hmm. so lazima pia tuende style hiyo mm -hmm. because that we, we are saying that the terrorism uh, and the terrorism siko Kenya siko officially here yes. atuwezi kuepa mm -hmm. so lazima tuanze kufikiria in that line okay. na tutaku tuta succeed kwa hiyo mm -hmm. ikiwa tunaweza kueleza wa Kenya kwamba ya moto inalia style hii yes na hii ya mambo ya mgonjwa inalia style hii yeah. na kama hatari mama kama tukaanda attack inalia style yeah. hii watu wajifungie wa, 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 wajue mapema ndio yeah. watu mheshimiwa amesema kuhusu mambo ya majengo yeah. ama majumba mm. makubwa mkubwa hapa Nairobi town lazima pia tukue na mambo ya plan ya, ya, ya entry na exit kama yeah. kuna danger mm. si tu kwa sababu ya mambo ya terrorism mm. pia mambo ya fire hiyo hata incident zingine zinaweza kutokea yeah. inaweza kuwa ni jam kwa, kwa same 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 escape route mpaka yeah. munaoana pale kwa mlango yeah. you see hata kabla yenyewe moto jaofani yeah. ijawafika okay. so ni vizuri pia tukue na katika hizi planning za manyumba tukue na exit plan okay. whatever there is emergency okay. yeah Tuchukue simu kidogo kwa 0204445975 nina mheshimiwa Kavogo governor uh, tulikuwa tuzungumzia masuala ya siasa uh, lakini kwa sababu ya mkasa wa jana na pia Isaac Kandabu ambaye ni mtaalamu wa masuala ya kiusalama tunaangazia vile wa Kenya tunaweza angazia swala kama hili likifanyika leo hapo kwenu mtaani mtu yeyote akikuuliza session yako ni gani muombie radio jambo Jumbe kumjadala katika mazungumzo wa
Mzwazi na Bramuel Mololo. 60,000 ya nyama peke yake ndio kijana mmoja anakula hapo NYS. Hiyo ni mm-hmm. is it possible? Radio Jambo. Ongea usiku. Moja na shuka 44 nikiwa na gavana Kavogo na pia nina Aiza Kandabu ambaye mtaalamu wa masuala ya kiusalama. Pengine ungetaka kuuliza swali juu ya usalama, pengine respond vile pengine haya masuala utaangazia. Karanja kutoka mlango kubwa. Vipi Bram? Niko salama wa salami kwanza pokea salamu zako nimetumwa na wasazi wako wawili washira na matau nimeshukuru na usalimie wageni hapo wamesalimika kwanza unihusu kwanza niseme haa maafisa waleke mhm kwa upopote walipo hile kitu mtu wanatumia mhm apewe karaja atalipa bili utawanunulia kwa hee tumi tumefrahi na wawo <laughs> unajua brown yes wacha ni kuwabie what is eating us kama Ndiyo. kenya ndiyo nita kuwabie tu maneno maini haraka haraka yes jabura kwanza mhm ufisadi ok bramu tunaelewa vizuri haa watu mafunzo yao haku haa fuzi hapa kenya ok inafamiwa pale somalia yee yeah. na tukona polisa bawa wanalida mpaka yetu ya somalia bramu ndiyo na haa watu wanapenyeza hizo vitu hadi huku dani na unajua bramu mm. hizi yote wakona mpaka kubwa uh, katikati yao na somalia ndiyo lakini hawapigui yee yeah. kwa sababu wamejua siri moja mm. mpaka yao ni, 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 ni kitu ya kurindua ukikarijia hiyo mpaka bramu yeah ya bora kwanza ni sasi mhm ya pili mtaongea ukiwa chini lakini kenya yeah. unaigia vile unataka ya bora pili bramu ndiyo kuko na uwazi mkubwa sana katikati ya polisi na raya ok kwa sababu bramu kiangalia polisi vijitu wama yu mafunzo ya wanatawa kipajo ni hile ya mkoroni mhm unajua ya mkoroni ilikuwa ukufigilia mbo nini mtu mwerusi yee yeah. lakini hawa mechukwe yu system bramu unajua ata kukikuwa na information ndiyo wezi ya bia yu polisi ndiyo utakuwa na heza kuwa maboma vili yes kitu ya kwanza ukuwe saste ok ama ya pili nini uwaza ku 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 yani ku hagaisho ndiyo jabu la tatu bram mhm tunaerewa ugaidi katika afrika mhm ni jabu moja tu inaleka yes iti kadikari ok na bram tukitaka kufishi hivi kui hivi vita tuishita iti percent yes twenty percent tu ibaki ni buduki ok tuufunze bram tu tu hivi iti kadikari wanapewa mhm masehe na serikali wakuja na wakana tibu hii ok haa vijana wa hubiriwe dini alternative ok ya kuwa bati bikira hapatika ni biguni mm. bikira ni wabiri ni wapa dunia ni ramwisho kabisa yes ni hii siyasa ya nordistan mm. lazima ikomesho watu wezi kwa tunapika hatu wabiri bra mbele mm. wantugizudisha nyuma hati ukiri ujubamu kitafuta ee chinko roro tuseme mm. utaenda kuitafuta sentru haa ah, the same case na alishababu wezi yada kutafuta mahali kujine ok ya yeah, tunajua mahali ya papo ni dominant Rogers kutoka unajiita mchainisi ee yeah, kwa wachai na hapa ok hindi nisha tui mkeni kwa nita kukonga kwa tuki pindi utieno kutoka buruburu alo karibu riti jambo sala miko salama uh, monolo maoni yako salimia wa ishimi wa hapo wame salimika pasa mi nataka kusema hivi bwana monolo ndiyo unaona hii polisi wetu wa kenya hapa mm wambie kwamba eti otieno anafanya <coughs> maandamano pale endo 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 mpikitupie tia gaso mpige nurungu uko hata kimbia haraka sana mm. lakini mpigie simu kwamba ti tumevamiwa hapa kuja watakuja baada ya masaa mawili kama hao wamesha tuhua na wameenda mm. jambo lingine bwana mololo ndiyo mimi nafunia sana hii kikosi yetu ya reke yes na kama ingewezekana mm ouro bo ni rais wetu angechukua pesa mi, mingi sana weke kwenye hiyo idara ya reke sababu hiyo mm. reke imefanya kazi muhimu sana kwa 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 kuokoa okay e, felix kutoka cbd ah bali ya bwana bram asalimu wageni wako salama na gavana wangu kwa kwa na mwabeto na murudisha next election yeah. sasa anataka kuwa <laughs> president wajani kumurudisha chini <laughs> e, baba bram unajua hapa hawa security guard eh yes kubuka ni watu wakona jaa yeah. na 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 ni kosiwa mbuku waesimua wa shayda hapo du city kuna bari kuna kuwa kuna bari ya kubwa sana kuna bari ya karibu tatu kabla ujengia exactly sasa pare pare kwa cheki nye yeah. kuja mara ya kwaza upe uwape tip ee yeah. mara ya kwaza ya biri sasa uwe mekua mudosi wao ee yeah. next time sasa that time uta uta kuna mudo ata kukagua wata kupigia saluti na hiyo diyo jie hiyo diyo jie hawa 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 matuwe zo metumia wadikuta okay. wakapea tibu mara kwaza ya pili sasa kutoka hapo hawa 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 na kaguliwa ok wakifika hapo wadosu wa, wadosu wamefika wanafugulia bado wanaingia ok pasta kia anza kutoka kangemi pole ya metuweka pasta ole sordo wa keserian naamu amu jambo hatu jambo 
kwanza nimehuzunika na 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 timia sila za pole walio shiko na ile jambo mm -hmm. na nawatakia kila lahiri ambao wako mausikitalini asante pili ndugu yangu mimi si takashifu na jambo lolote kwanza nataka kuwapongeza jeshi letu mm -hmm. kwa sababu hakuna njia lingine ambao wangetumia kuhitindana na wale magaibi yes wale ambao mm -hmm. ni wajinka ambao ni makafiri wachenzi mm -hmm. sana mm -hmm. mimi sina na kusema isipokuwa ni kusema wanajeshi walifanya jambo mbalo walifaa kufanya okay na nawapongeza alafu pia mm. sisi kama wanaiki yes tuwe na ushujaa mm. wale watu walikuwa watu watatu mm. hata kama walikuwa na zile marisasi mm. naomba tu ya kuna mtu ambaye anapenda kukufa lakini mtu akitokea kama watu vinye waliingia wale watu yeah. uwe na watu ambao watajitolea tungeshika wale watu badala kutoroka sisi wote hata kama ni mawe utafika kama ni hile kitu kona mahali mahali huko tuwa tupia na, mawe ngangana ndugu yangu kupiga watu kwa sababu enye wa wakuna aja kutoroka kama watu wa mpili inti sina na kusema pole sana felix wa sirisia ee pramwe msema uyu ni felix mwenye wa sirisia yeah. ee waja ni kuambe kitu moja tuambie kenya tutaendele kuumia hivyo hivyo mpaka mwisho wai wajja ni kwa nini mm. ee hii ni mara ya kwanza ya ee tunakuwa na shambulizi kama hile kweni nafikiri ya ine Uganda walijambuliwa ndiyo na Tanzania lakini sio sana kama Kenya Kenya tuko na shida okay aiza kutoka makwara yes mamalolo yes uh, mimi ni isa kutoka makwara lakini ni kuhuku Nairobi ndiyo mimi ndiyo nilikuwa muongono wa ini tiliwa lukolewa jana ok ee na shukuru kima sasa nyo alipanya kazi mzuri ndiyo lakini kitu nyo ninge sema mhm wakati hawa watu wanapu shiku wa sitalia kuhili watu watoe na boni ee haa watu wanafua kicha maliza mambo ya wana uwa wapia wata na wana kufa ok pole sana haa ya shukuru mungu kwa hai tukirudi wa shimu ya mtangazia wa maswala na mtala saa kumina moja chioni mara usikike kikishuka saa moja teka msini na tatu na gavana kabogo na pia ni na aiza kandabu wa mtala wa maswala ya kiusalama tumaulizo wa maswali muhimu sana eee polisi kwa mwana inchi ya kuna urafiki gavana tumeambiwa pia respond ya rese ilikuwa sawa hongo pia inachangia na tumeambiwa boda zetu kenya tuko ma tuko very friendly mtu yote anaweza kuja kenya mtu yote gavana unajua shida yetu hata sio sana boda sahihi yeah. waliingia kitambo yeah. you know our generosity yes. kama hii ya kakuma mm -hmm. tume host uh, refugees wa kisomali ndiyo mda mrefu sana ndiyo they have filtered from 1992 wame filter into our system mm -hmm. wengi walipawa vitambulisho you had that complaint in bunge ndiyo hata kuna nafasi mengine meshimua uh, duali alisema mm -hmm. they know the financiers of these people na hata so, wataja this information iko hapa katika kenya ok you know not all islam are terrorists yes. but all terrorists are islam mm -hmm. unanyelewa ndiyo hii profiling mm -hmm. should start now mm -hmm. because kama wale wangeshikwa pale kiambu road ndiyo ama limuru road yes. walizo nyinyi munatoka wapi yeah. amkai siju munakaa aje yes. munaenda wapi ndiyo you know it's okay to ask yes hii relationship pia ya public na police kama vile huyo anavyo sema ndiyo we should start community policy yes police wawe wako karibu na mananchi mm hii -hmm. this fear of a policeman na wewe ni raya mm -hmm hiyo ni mamba ya vile alivyo sema huyo ya kizamani wakati wa wabeberu this time you should be able to interact with the police na sasa nona police wa mechukulio wa meanza kuchukua manyumba katika raya so we will have policemen almost everywhere let us live with them as our own brothers and sisters lakini pia hii mamba umesikia ya ofisadi gari naingia umesikia hawa waiter mmoja anasema ame msavu jamaa mmoja wa hawa chai not once not twice kwa hivyo ni mahali wame frequent jamaa mmoja alikuwa na uza sijui ni nguo hapo inje pia amesema hii gari mimi na ionanga they keep coming here sinaona sasa wamekuja safari ya kwanza gari kakaguliwa clean wakatoa elfu moja kwa mfano i'm just you know giving you an example kama vile huyu jamaa alivyo sema akakuja tena siku nyingine kuna chai saa kumi akatoa elfu moja sasa si mazoea human beings tunazoeana mazee mzikuwe na mazoeana mamba ya security kagua kila siku 
tumeona kwingine eh, kuna umbwa mm -hmm. za kunusa the sniffer dogs mm -hmm. Pale Dusit is a very serious place. Yeah. Why don't they have sniffer, sniffer dogs? dogs because these dogs would have brought problems. Unajua kuhonga umbwa ni ngumu. Ni ngumu. You know this is not a laughing matter. Yes. Honestly we are laughing yes. but it is a very serious matter. Yes. Kwa hivyo ni, ni muhimu tujue we should always be alert until this problem is solved once and for all. Kwele. Na kuna mtu anasema mm. nimeona leo kwa mtandao. Mm. Uh, let uh, uh, the decision of whether they are guilty or not guilty lies with God. Mm How -hmm. mm -hmm. were terrorists. Yeah. But the appointment to go and see God should be done by us. So we must continue to kill them ruthlessly. So in wewe ukipatikana tu na bunduki na una eh, kibali. Mm -hmm. Kwa nini unapelekwa kotini jameni? Bunduki ya AK47. Wewe ni wewe ni foreigner. Ndiyo. Unafanya nini na bunduki katika Ndiyo. choo Ndiyo. ya hoteli or within the presence of public area? Yes. We must be very strict. Okay. So umesikia amesema amepiga simu hapo amesema. Mm -hmm. Kenya it is too common mm -hmm. lakini hapa Ethiopia and Aho. they have a bigger they have a, a, a longer border, border na Somalia mm -hmm. hawa ingi pale ni kweli ni kwa nini mm -hmm. as we congratulate the rec squad yes. and the people who rescued uh, Kenyans yesterday mm -hmm. to do it we have a lot to do okay. as Kenyans na pia uzungumze ma twitter na sisi watu wa facebook ambaye tunaendelea kuweka mapicha tunasikia sheria kwanza ujue sheria it was amended the other day yes if you ukipeana uki, ukuweka kwa mtandao mm. picha ambazo zinaudhi ndiyo ama kitu ambaye umeweka inaudhi wengine Ndiyo. ama picha kama vile umeona mm -hmm. kuna hatia okay. milioni moja fine ama miaka mitatu na wakenya na, na, na wakenya wanazituma tu yes mpaka wamefanya mu America mm. New York Times Ndiyo. aweke zile picha Jamil. lakini kama ingekuwa ni New York hangeweza kuweka zile picha Kweli. yes na huyo mm -hmm. mtu wa New York Times mm -hmm. anafaa kufukuzwa Kenya yes. because those photos he did alifanya kwa sababu ni hapa Afrika yes. kama ni kule ya Amerika hangeweka kweli eh andabo security ni masuala umesikia mm -hmm. wanasema we too friendly sisi tuna sisi tunakubali tu mtu yote ingie Kenya mm -hmm. eh, na pengine tukipoa kitu kidogo kwa gate tunasema huyu ni mtu mzuri sasa atakuwa kipita Ah uh, mlaona nataka niseme kwamba pengine huyu mwenye amechangia mm. ajapata hiyo pointi sasa. Mm. Because mambo ya kuchukua rushwa ama hongo mm. is just an uh, individual yeah. decision to do it. Mm. Lakini ukichukua imaanisha kwamba uwezi ku screen ku screen mtu. Sasa hiyo si excuse. Mm. Ile kitu iko lazima tuweke BD mm. katika uh, wale officers to change attitude yao. Ndio. Tuambia kwamba ukiwa hapa ni uh, officer. Ndio ujue kwamba maisha ya hawa na property ya hawa iko juu yako mm. sasa hakuna biashara nyingine ya mambo ya handout okay. because unajua hata mambo ya wanasiasa mheshimiwa kaboka anajua mm. si babu ambao wanachukua handouts peke yake mm. hata voters wanachukua handouts mm. but ukichukua si ya kwamba usifanye kazi yako okay. so what i'm saying where we are heading to now Ndiyo. through this authority mm -hmm. we need now to have a very serious training Ndiyo. for these private cars okay. under the regulations okay. and they must be professional okay. they must perform above the board mm -hmm. na mambo ya kusema kwamba ati mambo ya border scheme unaacha una, 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 una anakuja security tells anakuja ile mheshimiwa anasema we need to have these uh, landlords mm -hmm. houses yeah. properly regulated we must have a data of mm -hmm. those of, of those houses and who stays there mm -hmm. and for which purpose mm -hmm. because you talked about the coordination yes kama polisi wanafanya kasi yao vizuri kwa barabara kuzuia maybe wale wale, wale makaidi ndio lakini end of the day huyu kaidi ataenda kwa nyumba atakula lunch tunasikia huyu alikula sikiwa apitika road mm. si ataenda kwa nyumba eh mwingine asikia tunasikia eh na mwingine ameshikwa ruaka so hiyo nyumba ni na landlord mm. so hizi nyumba zikuwe regulated Ndiyo. na tuku, tujue kwamba nani anaishi kwa hizo nyumba okay. that is the coordination we are talking about okay. so that the police wanaweza kufanya kasi hiyo pamoja na na landlords yeah. wajue kwamba kuna bramu yuko hapa yeye ni mtu wa Radio Jambo akapa wiki mbili tatu anafanya kitu fulani hapo. That is the best way we want to go okay. through technology now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, tukimalizia malizia governor pengine wazo la mwisho tukikumbuka uh, next week nitakuwa na governor tutajaribu kumwalika tena manake mjadala wetu na governor na wenzake ilikuwa tunataka kujua succession ya kule Central imeleta shida mlimani hakuna shida yeah. watu ambaye wanatuangalia sisi watu wa mlimani ndio wanafikiri sisi tuna shida kwa sababu ya kelele ya upusi uh -huh. mlimani hamna shida yote shida kubwa succession succession 
mheshimiwa huru kinyata aliletewa sisi na nani mm. si alitokezea mwenyewe michuki alimleta hakumleta alisema kwa fikra kwa fikra zake Ndiyo. mtu ambaye anaweza saidia watu wa Mount Kenya ni mheshimiwa huru kwa fikra zake kwa fikra zake okay. alisema hata uka play you mm. can replay that tape yes. many times hata sisi wenyewe mm. tutajua ni wapi tutaelekea msiwe na wasiwasi tuko na wasiwasi tunatuweka wasiwasi kwani kwa kwa kuna kitu kwani kuna kitu nyinyi mnaelewa <laughs> sisi hatuelewi hebu nikuulize sasa eh. nikasema mimi ndio sasa kigogo yes msemaji mimi ndio msemaji wa Central Kenya kwani watafanya nini maji itatulia Haku, itatulia na imetulia hamna wasiwasi sisi tuko sawa Ehe. tunangoja kujua keki ya 22 Ehe. sisi tutakuwa na nani tutakuwa wapi okay. lakini sasa it is too early kuzungumza mambo ya 22 na ndio mimi na wakashifu wale ambao wanafanya campaign ah. it is too early my friend it's not it is too early mtu ni kujipanga walisema kujipanga two weeks in politics yes. is like 10 years okay. sasa 3 years jameni mm. si ni zaidi ya miaka 50 ah tutapata fursa la kujipanga tu matuje tuzungumzie hili swala kiundani maana mimi nashukuru ni daktari bali asikubali governor unajua mimi nilisema siku nyingine wengi kule central wanakimbia kama headless chicken hasa wanasiasa mbona nilisema siku nyingine <laughs> yes. professor wa siasa yes. Kenya walikuwa ni wawili yes. mmoja amestaafu mzee mmoja aliye eh, aliyebaki sasa ni mimi ni wewe eh, mimi ndio professor sasa hivi siasa aliyebaki sasa ni mimi kwa hivyo tutangangana vilivyo yangu ni kusema wa Kenya jameni tuwe watulivu tunashukuru jeshi letu kwa kazi wamefanya jana vikosi vyote polisi wakiwemo yeah. reki mm. lakini let us learn how to deal with this problem tunajua imo mm. itakuja tena mm. tukwe watu wa kuchunga unakaa na nani Kweli. mambo ya nyumba kumi mimi first and foremost mimi mm. sikukubaliana nayo mm. lakini kwa sasa mambo ya kupeana information na kujua jirani yako you must know your neighbor Kweli. na kama mimi ni landlord mm. i will not rent my property Ndiyo. kwa mtu ambaye sijakamilika kujua haswa huyu mtu anatoka wapi okay. who is your neighbor Ndiyo. who is your brother Ndiyo. lazima uwe na form na jaza mm. tukikukosa kwa kulipa rent au mengine mm. tutafata nani wenu because if you have that information yeah. then quickly you be able to screen yeah. these fellows mm. lakini pia usiwe na wasiwasi wa kupiga simu polisi na kusema, kusema kuna mtu fulani unamshuku ah. sio hakuna, hakuna hatia Au lakini usiwe ukipiga simu kila siku kikosana na bibi yako unapigia polisi <laughs> unaambia polisi bana hapa kuna msichana simuelewi ama jirani akiendelea let us be sincere to ourselves na tunawatakia Kenya mwaka mpya mwema asante asante kwa kuja station yetu radio jambo kavogo uh, governor na pia Isaacandabwa mtaalamu wa masuala ya kiusalama na wa Kenya asante kwa wale wote wamepiga simu mwe na usiku mwanana tunakufungulia mwaka kwa maelfu ya pesa hapo mtaani kwenu mbele yako